a flash flooding siege in the Northeast. States of emergency in New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. Multiple deaths reported as the remnants of Ida merged with the front to produce chaos. For the first time in recorded history, the National Weather Service issuing a flash flood emergency for all five boroughs of New York City. More than seven inches of rain in just a few hours. The Western Hemisphere's busiest subway system shut down. Waterfalls pouring down station stairs, trains pulling into fine platforms submerged. People wading through waist high water. Above ground, stranded cars and water rescues everywhere. FDNY members rescuing someone who has been trapped in that Jeep for now well over an hour. Our New York station, WABC, right there as a man was finally brought to safety. And in Queens, a partial building collapse, at least two people killed. And at Newark Airport in New Jersey, the wettest day ever recorded. Flooding taking over baggage claim terminals, hundreds of flights canceled. Passaic, New Jersey Mayor Hector Laura pleading during the storm for people to stay inside. We have too many areas where the flooding has gotten so bad, the cars are stuck and we have bodies underwater. We are now retrieving bodies. The same system torturing southern New Jersey and Pennsylvania earlier in the evening with at least six tornadoes. Look at that tornado! Nearly 25 homes in Mullica Hill, a total loss. Others shredded. See branches start to get carried by the wind past my house. The, the chair on our front porch got flipped and it was, it was nuts. In Horsham, Pennsylvania, the storm uprooting trees, tipping semis. And in Allegheny County, 41 people, mostly students, in this bus rescued attributing the frequency of these extreme rainfall events to human-caused climate change. In reality, what was once the 100-year flood, the flood that had about a 1% chance of happening any given year, isn't the 100-year flood anymore. And listen to this. You have to see this video again from 6ABC in Philadelphia over the Schuylkill River. Just because the rain has pulled away does not mean that the flooding is going to stop. That river expected to hit a record high in the next 48 hours. We will see more flooding, especially along rivers here in the Northeast. We had more than eight inches of rain widespread happen in just two to three hours. Y'all, that is called flash flooding. It is receding now quickly behind me as we speak, but unfortunately behind it, we will see debris. And I think the question we now will have is how do we live sustainably? How do we make permeable roads? How do we live in this new extreme reality.